There we are. Hello everyone. It's been a while since we've played this. Not been a while since I last saw you. That was Sunday, where we made terrific strides forwards in SnowRunner. Very close to the end now. Hey, Walker, nice to see you. Um, yeah, very close to the end of SnowRunner now. Um, not going to take us too much longer. So, I thought, rather than swamp you with even more of it today, we'd go back to an old favourite. Hey, Groot, nice to see you. Good to see you here for the restarting of Farming Sim. It's Pelegne. Pelegne? Pelegne? Pelegne. It's French, okay? I'm not perfect. <laughs> um, I have actually been considering a return to SnowRunner. Uh, to SnowRunner? To, sorry, I've got a really bad itch on my foot. I'm going. There we go. I've gone. Ah. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, foot itches have to be dealt with immediately. That's the law. Uh, but I've been wanting to get back to Farming Sim for a while. I've just been waiting for a decent map to come around. Um, and I did get recommended um, Edge Edgewater. Edgewater Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. I can say it. It's just sometimes my mouth doesn't want to cooperate. Um, was considering that one. And then I saw this one. It literally only came out a couple of days ago. And I was just like... That reminds me so much of uh, Hope Baileron, which is actually probably my favourite map thus far. Certainly in the Giants official maps. Carmsden might have its peak, but it's a toss-up. Um, but I had to try this one out. Um, the new DLC for Farming Sim. Yeah, the, um, the new DLC for Farming Sim looks kind of sus, if you ask me. Um... I think it was... I was watching some various people do reviews on it. I think it was... Uh, who was it who said it best? Mr. Seely P, I believe, who said something along the lines of it's a DLC that you pay for where most of the stuff that's in it we already have on the mod hub by mod makers. So... <sighs> We'll have to see what it actually is. Um, I can't say I will get it straight away. I'm probably going to wait. Certainly until, you know. I mean, I never got the other one either. The hose, pipes and hoses. Never got that one either. So, you know, I'll buy the season pass. But I'm not a fan of extra DLCs. Uh, unless they're only a couple of quid. You know, seven, eight quid. That's kind of pushing it a bit much when I pay for a DLC year pass. Thank you very much. Um, um, yeah, it does look like it's going to be the last official DLC kind of patch thing. I think a lot of people are thinking that Farming Sim 25 is going to be kind of announced in the very not-too-distant future and Possibly launched kind of late autumn, winter time, something like that. Maybe November, December time, something like that. I think that's when 22 came out. I think it was, was it November that 22 came out? November 21. <laughs> but it's called 22, how dare. Um, but yeah, something like that. I, I don't think this had been anything official. You know, it's just speculation at the moment. Yeah, probably late fall, Walker. Something like that. That's what I would assume. But, right now, we are checking out Pelegne. And I must say, it's absolutely beautiful. The attention to detail on some of this stuff is amazing. Look at, look at these buildings. This is all, like, custom-made and everything. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um... We start off with a relatively nice kind of working farm with plenty of plenty of things to get get cracking with. Um, there's a lot of custom things on this map as well, like um, the uh, the Saint Fred, uh, yeah, 
Fre 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 I'm not quite sure what that umlaut does to that E. Free free res free res. Again, I'm English. I don't do French. Well, I did at GCSE level, but that was like twenty five years ago, and it's really really not my thing. Um, but this place is amazing. Look, look, it's got a working water wheel. It's a huge thing, and seemingly this is like four productions in one. Costs an absolute fortune. Let's, uh, let's just get away from that uh, for now. Um, but yeah, but the town is lovely. We've got a church that plays some bells. Really nice. Really nice kind of picturesque French village. Look that France, the flag is flying. So yeah. Um, and we actually start with a production, amazingly. Look at this. There's actually a production in the starting map. <laughs> if I can't pronounce it, I should have done Edgewater. <laughs> that being said, I can barely pronounce Saskatchewan properly. <laughs> let's 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 not forget Canada is also part French. Um, probably less French than France, but still French in a way. Um, but yeah, so we've got like a kind of dairy slash bakery here with um, something else tacked on. We can make mustard because um, this map actually has uh, several new crop types. So uh, trit kale, alfalfa, spelt and mustard, you see. So, four, four custom crops for this map, which is nice. Um, I haven't put the premium edition in just yet. I might do further down the line, but I wanted to try this map without those crops for a little while, just to simplify things a little bit. Hey, Turtle, nice to see you. Um, so, yeah, we've actually got quite a few fields already. Um, it's actually quite amazing what we've got. We've this is the main farm, 103, here. Um, but we've also got all these little fields here. We've got another, some bigger fields over there. And then I believe these are kind of meadow areas. These ones up here. Yeah, 88 and 90, they're just grass fields. And 71 doesn't have anything in it at the moment. Um, I believe we have to... There are a couple of fields for us to harvest. Nine doesn't have anything in it either. And neither does 19. But 20 has a, I believe that's mustard. Yeah, so 20 here uh, has a mustard field. So then we need to harvest that. And I believe we then also have, is that barley? Yeah, we've got a small barley field and Two wheat fields, but I think this one down here has already been harvested. So, <coughs> ready to go. Yeah, this field needs harvesting as well. Barley there. So, we've got a couple of fields to be getting on with. Um, and like I said, I think the one down here, number 25 here. Uh, when I did a brief little run around the map earlier, I believe that has already been harvested, but we need to do the baling. So... Oh. Actually get some vehicles out into the field. Start. Start proceeding. We are swathing. Good. Yeah, it's it's so dinky. You know, this 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 little guy is such a dinky little harvester. We will have to probably replace this at some point. Um, but this really is a small harvester. Um, yeah, it's it's not ideal, even for the small fields that we have. 
probably not the most ideal harvester to go forwards with, but it'll do for now, you know. You know, we'll do the headland here and then we'll set this guy off on a worker so that we can take some machinery over to field 25 where we can start bailing. I think some of the fields I might sell and get some fields closer to home so that I don't have to travel quite so far. <laughs> oh, this combine is based on a Russian combine, is it? Actually, not... Lost shell, lost shell mash. Kind of sounds Russian, doesn't it? You can only use it if it's green, eh, turtle? Well, there are plenty of very good green harvesters in this game, and we will endeavour to get one. Um. I'm not quite sure what my plan is uh, for this map. I think I'm just going to enjoy myself rather than trying to do anything specific. I have included a few mods of interest. Um, indeed, John Deere's. They're green. They're very green. Um, but yes, I have included a couple of mods of interest. There's a there's a fruit mod that looks very interesting. Um, that's rather new. It has like a load of extra productions for greenhouses and such like. Um, so we'll probably give that a go at some point. In fact, probably sooner rather than later, because getting some fruit on the go would probably be a good idea. Right, tell me what. Right. Another little swath at the top here to give this some space. Set him off. Yeah. See how he does. He gets stuck, he gets stuck, and we'll have to push it. Okay, so. Go there, my friend. Right. Very tight little yard, actually. How do we get out of here? Ah. Go through here, I think. There we go. Might have to do a merry little jig in order to turn around. Yeah, right. Hope no one's coming because I. Uh, I was going to say, I hope no one's coming because I. Oi! Oi! I literally cannot see as I drive out of there. It's going to be a magical, uh, magical mystery tour every time we drive out. Yeah, you'll get to see a little bit of the countryside here as we head on over to our field. Very nice. You know, this map is beautifully done. Here's our field. Let's bail this up. 
hopefully shouldn't take us too long. Oh, nearly a full grain tank on the other guy. That's a good start. Bale as well. There we are. Marvellous. Actually, I probably should have checked. Does this bale have does this bale have different sizes? No, I think this is a one size only baler, isn't it? Okay, never mind. That's fine. Hmm. You're in a South American map, eh, Turtle? And, you know, it's perfectly alright to edit game files. <laughs> That's what you want to do. That's what you do. I do it all the time myself. Um, especially when I'm, like, customising a map specifically for stream. You know, I've kind of just dived straight into this one with very little customization. I think I swapped out the trailer um, the bale trailer, and I swapped out the cultivator um, for a different one than what you start with. Um, everything else is kind of, you know... as it's found. Right. Uh, this guy. I'm going to drop this front load. It. it is just going to get in the way. So, this corner here. Attach that. Perfect. Now, retrieve our trailer. Speeding around the yard in reverse. Safest way to drive. Crashing into things. Now, well, let's get this guy emptied. He's actually done rather well for himself. Good job, Mr. Harvester. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we'll leave that to do its business and we'll go back to this guy. But yeah, well, starting as I mean to uh, continue, you know. Like, you think I'm bad at driving in SnowRunner. Wait until you see what happens in this game when there is no real consequences to driving bad. You know, that would actually be an interesting feature in the next farming sim, would be... Maybe not necessarily vehicle damage, because I don't know how they would do that with, um... Oh, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh! It's a race! Who's gonna get to <laughs> Who's gonna get to the bottom first? <laughs> uh-oh. Oh. oh, this one's staying where it's been put. That's... amusing. The other two are like, we're off, bye! Um... But yeah, um, I don't know if they'd be able to do, like, vehicle damage, um, but certainly, um, like, um, vines, stuff like that, for, you know, running into things or crashing into NPC cars and such. There's probably a mod for that already, you know? Imagine someone's probably modded that into the game. Personally, I like the freedom of being able to just, you know, drive around like a madman um, and not have to worry about it. I worry about it a lot, it's no... <laughs> forever like, oh no, this is going to end really badly. A 
dial here. El Dorado. Way fast. Oh, that one's off. It's off. It's gone, man. Right. Get this little bit that we missed. And then we'll head back to our main farm and bail up the straw there. Bales so far, that's not bad going. I even get 10 bales just from this one field. Probably not, that's probably a little bit too much. Push them all down. Oh, oh that one's actually moving on its own. Let's give the other one a little nudge. Send it on its way. Oh man! Oh man! Oh 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 no! I've ruined it all. Oh no! <laughs> okay, okay. That that wasn't. Um... <clears throat> I'll have no comments on my driving. That was... that was bad. Even for me, that was bad. Oh, I think that one's going to end up in our neighbour's field now. Oh, that one over there certainly did. Right. Our harvester thinks he's finished. He's not finished. It's got more to do. Yes, we need to get that field done, then we need to harvest the mustard so that we can actually get that into the production. And, uh... Whoa! Uh <laughs> the entire village came out to see me there, I think. And I laid several of them to rest. <laughs> God. It's like Armageddon. Crikey, this is tight turn to make. There's another way into this farm, because if I'm having to do that with machinery, I'm not going to have an awful lot of space to do anything. Right. Perfect. Set with me if I drove too close to you here. Oh no, he's fine. Okay, there we go. Perfect.
just thought as I was going around there, I probably shouldn't bail that bit just yet. Because, oh, I thought he was going to reverse. Probably shouldn't bail that bit just yet because the bales will get in the way of Yom Harvester. Um, come on. I'm well out of the way here. Go on. Shoot. Get to harvesting. That's better. Right. Shouldn't take too long. Any luck anyway? Yeah. Um, I definitely want to look at getting a better harvester bigger harvester. Even if it's not a massive one, anything that is bigger than what I've got is better, I think. Um, and then I'm going to need some bigger general equipment, maybe a bigger baler. And stuff like that, I think. Or maybe even just a forage wagon picking this up. I don't know if I'm going to actually need bales and such. Why are the tractors in the way? Of course it is. Tala. What's that you're saying there, Walker? Saw so a trailer for trailer and pack tractor and planter for a case uh, LH. Ah! Oh, is that what is that what drew you to the El Dorado map then? Nice. Yeah. I don't know how big the El Dorado map is. I have found from my experience with um, up the Mississippi River Valley that whilst I can appreciate the level of detail and the amazing uh, modelling job that people have done on maps like that, I'm, I'm not a fan of mega maps. <laughs> I prefer a much smaller kind of thing. Which is why I went for this map over Edgewater, for now at least. I do actually want to try Edgewater as a pot. But I wanted to get back into farming sim with a slightly smaller affair. So, nothing, nothing too ginormous. And this one just really appealed to me. Like I said, I when I first started farming sim and I played on uh, Elm Creek for the first time, wasn't quite sure if I liked the maps. And then I tried um, Obeleron and uh, absolutely fell in love with the game. That was a very fun one. bales, 15 bales even. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> it fell. 
found the bail. Oops. <laughs> it found the bail that was hidden in the undergrowth and uh, decided to bring it out. so that it's not going to cause any issues for us later on. Okay. I wonder if the new crop types make hay like this, or whether they are Hayless. Oops. Uh oh. I'm crashing into everything now. It's kind of par for the course for me, though. is actually doing really well. I thought it would have filled itself up by now, but it does actually seem to be finishing the field, which is delightful. Charmed the harvester. Unloaded in a moment. Off to the mustard field, I think. just shy of 10,000 litres. Not bad. That'll keep the chickens going for a while. And we start with chickens as well. We start with uh, 15 chickens. Well, we can sell the cockerel. We don't need that. Right. Where exactly are we going? Ah. Okay, so the mustard field is kind of back towards that other field. Get out a different way, because this is not going to fit through that. Uh... There's a trail there. Is that. Am I going to fit? down there. Probably a bit more than I would. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, ah, oh, here we are. Here's the actual entrance to the farm. This is going to be fun. Hey pedestrians! There's a blender coming for you. Ah. That's far too slow. Now, this is this is not exactly the most practical arrangements here. Um, hey, hello, Mr. Mayor. Um, I, f forgive the the blender that I'm bringing through your town here. It looks a little bit like um, ah, this does not produce straw. Okay, yeah, not available for this crop type. This looks a little bit like canola. might sell this field. Buy 
buy one that's a little bit closer, like I said, a little bit more um, a little bit more manageable in terms of moving our machinery around. But I want to get stuff out of these fields, so you know, we will bale, we will harvest, we will sort them all out, and then we will sell them. Maybe buy some fields close by that still have stuff in them that we could get as well. That's the dream. Also need to purchase our soil data. Because unlike Upper Mississippi River Valley, where it was gonna cost us like twenty-five thousand just for one field's worth of data, I think this map is gonna be a lot kinder. more reasonably priced by the soil data. Check that out. Obviously if I need to buy the little probe thing, then I will. Ah, uh, turtle. Yeah, if if we do end up keeping this field, we will certainly buy a chainsaw and get rid of those trees because they are very badly placed. But if we're going to sell it, we may as well not bother. We'll, uh, I lined up here. Go, my little harvester friend. This we will go and put in the silo. Which I believe is just here. Yeah, I think this is the silo just here. There we are. Marvelous. finished off. I have to pop over to the store and grab our new trailer as well. This map also has bale and pallet storage built into the map, which is quite nice. So we won't have to have all of these bales hanging around in the open uh, like we did on... Actually, no, we didn't have bales hanging around in the open on the Mississippi River Valley, did we? Because it was, uh, we were doing it all with a forage wagon. Oh. Bit. Also have field twenty one, which is going to be barley. So what do we have here? Ooh. 
That might be a good one to buy, actually. That one just there. Right, how much is... Oh, wait, do we... Wait, do we have the soil data? No, we don't. Okay. Right, how much is the soil data? Oh, 600. Boom. Purchased. Nice, very nice. Fields, but I kind of want to buy this little cluster here in the middle. That would probably be better than having like a field here and a field here and a field over here. Um, yeah, certainly with like you know getting machinery in and out, having our fields all together would be a lot. This is um, a bale and storage place. Come through, lady. Beep. That, that, uh oh, uh, uh oh. Oh no. That's my just come up and spur. Oh, come on. Get off the fence. I just come up for not paying attention. I think I'm terrible at this. I really am. I try not to be. Wow, this guy is actually making quick work of this field, surprisingly. Ninety-eight percent. Okay. Right. Take this guy over to the barley field. That will be the next stop for the harvester. There we go. Let's see a little bit more of the map. So we're heading off in this direction now. Too. So, as is this one here. Multiple of these fields. Nice. There they are working away. So that's going quite well. Uh, let me take a quick look. Anything. Wow. What terrible things in the sale at the moment. So, uh, what are we going to aim towards? That's the one we have at the moment, which has a 5 meter header. I believe these two are both the same in that... Oh, that goes up to an 8.5 meter header. That's not bad. That little New Holland is actually pretty good. This guy only has a six meter. And then we'd be looking at a John Deere, which is 7.6. Actually, this little new, that little new Holland has been given a new header, I think. Did it always have that one? I know it always had the six meter corn header. But this one. That's new. I'm sure that's new. Is that new? Or have I just been sleeping on this thing? That's an 8.5 meter header on a really small little dinky machine. That's actually pretty impressive because even... Yeah, yeah, going up to the case there, that has an 8.5. Even 
then the class try on is before before you get up to more than 10 meters on the header i think we might make that our uh a little project to try and get one of those new hollands that sounds like a good idea and then we also need probably stand to get a better trailer at some point as well. I've got one of those at the moment, but maybe one of these, one of these. Yeah, something like one of these maybe. This one's a pretty good trailer. I do like this one. Extension on it, fifty thousand. That's not bad, but we're still kind of small scale at the moment, so probably don't need to worry too much. What we really need, though, I think, is I believe we have this cedar. Yeah, this is the one we have. Not particularly great, I will say. Try and get one of these two, I think. Are they the same working width? They are. This one's just slightly faster and has a slightly bigger capacity, which is not bad. I mean, this is that one's obviously kind of the go to most of the time. Yeah. We don't need a planter for the time being. Yeah. Oh. I'm needed. First bit of mustard crop. There we are. Lovely. Yeah, it looks very much like canola. In fact, I think they've used pretty much... just looks like canola which is fine it works mustard seeds after all look very much like canola seeds so you know should say. I don't think it does, does it? Hmm, that would actually be a good one to sell. Uh, just to make absolute sure that it doesn't have anything in it, nothing is turned off there. Yep, that's just cultivated, so I think we'll sell this field. Boom. We'll sell this field here, because that's got nothing Do believe yep that field there also has nothing in it so let's sell that I'm gonna keep a hold of 90 and 92 for the time being um, look, these are literally just grass fields aren't they yeah they're literally just grass fields um, I don't even know if I need grass And these fields here, because these two here are also ah, that's alfalfa. Okay, we all know what that what happened to me and alfalfa in the last stream. That is a very weedy spelt field. Ready to harvest. Some 
flowers. We need to get a header if we wanted to buy this one. And we also have a mustard field here, which is a bad idea. Finally, what's this little field over here? Uh, it is... was wheat. Okay. Wanted to buy this one. What would that cost us? Uh, keep this one here. Yep, I think we'll buy that one. That's another mustard field. Hey Bart, nice to see you. Um, once all of those fields are done, we'll sell those as well. We want to buy this one that is a bit big for now maybe this one maybe this one i also want to keep as much money as possible just so that uh oh my lord okay it's rather a lot oh interesting we can buy the Plots that have the productions on them. Nice. Right. Nearly done there. That's good. We need to sell this plot. Let's buy the field data for this field. 6,300. Okay. Not bad. So. Pretty bad, as is fertilizer, obviously. We'll have to jump on those pretty soon. Let go for now. We've got nothing else to do until uh, until we finish harvesting. So, or at least harvesting this field. Have the daily to do with the next week. The more money I can save the time for the time, the better. Yeah. this up and then we'll go and harvest the little barley field. So get that out of the way um, and then go and harvest our new leaf purchased mustard field. So let's go and grab those. Oh yes, we still have the corner here even. Ah, oh, perfect. Hey Walker, speaking of uh, bad weather, we've got it the same here at the moment as well. We have uh, yellow warnings out for heavy rainfall right now. Uh, 
supposed to be coming tonight, mostly. But we'll have to see. We've had rain all day. It's been pretty much grey and miserable, I would say. Most of the day. People still don't know how to turn their lights on. to risk going through the town again. Oh, Wettest and warmest march on record, huh? Sounds about right. It's certainly not been very nice, that's, uh, that's for sure. Now, speaking of, not speaking of weather, actually. <laughs> uh oh, F fire alarm scare. <laughs> oh dear, Walker. Uh, but yeah, I got a new t shirt order from QWERTY. What do you think? That's one of six you'll be seeing in the near future. Swath on. That's better. Yeah. I decided enough was enough and finally bought myself some new t shirts because I've been needing them for forever. Science. Portable reference in there. It's just it's not there. Back. Void the tree. This is a very awkward little field. I can actually see why you would need a little harvester like this for some of these, uh, some of these fields. Because they are not easy to maneuver around. this back to the yard first. <laughs> Never played Portal in multiplayer, I will say, but I loved games themselves. Absolutely fantastic. Works of genius. Going this way, I think. Actually, we should just dump this straight into the production, shouldn't we? Where's the drop-off for the production? Ooh. Ooh, that is a tight little entrance. Natalie, I've still got to get Natalie to finish playing Portal 2. You know? 
She hasn't. She's played the first one, but she hasn't actually played the second one um, all the way through. So, you know, I'll have to get her to finish that first. down at the field. This is Pelegni. Pelegni? Something like that. Um, it's just come out, Bart. It's, uh... French map, and uh, yeah, when I saw it, it gave me instant um, Obeleron vibes, and I just had to try it. doing that with these round balers, forgetting that they have to unload. Did I turn the crop destruction on? I can't remember. That would be a yes. I did. Okay. We're working with crop destruction. may or may not turn that off at a later date, but... It's fine for now. Full tank of barley, that's not bad from this small field. I mean, it's not exactly a record amount, but better than nothing. Yeah, I think we'll have to finish off ourselves here. Yeah, about four and a half thousand litres of barley. Not bad, not bad. It will keep the chickens fed. Yeah, that's that's probably about all it will do, but it will do that.
this guy in. Right, back to the bailing, finish this off, and once we've finished the bailing, go and grab the trailer. Get the bales in. And that'll be nice as well, because I can show you guys the shop. Map is incredibly picturesque. Another OE one. Have to move these vehicles out the way now, I think. That pipe in, and this is going to be entertaining. <laughs> uh oh, dude. Run! No, the other way! Oh! Too late, he couldn't be saved. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, um, I think the, um, the civilian casualties on this particular play um, is going to be quite dramatic because whole herds of people are spawning out of nowhere uh, and just running into the road you know it's, uh, it's pretty crazy Yeah, uh, we, we, we don't talk about the civilian casualties. Don't talk about them. Yeah, let's get this mustard sorted. issue I do see with this map is that it's it's not a bad issue, but it is a potentially long-term issue, is that I believe that both the dairy and the grain mill are um, part of the same building. Um, Ah, Romulans is broken. It may have been if you try to trigger it at the. Oh. Hmm. That's slightly concerning. Why is that working? Why are some of them working and some of them aren't? And why do they stop? Start working? I have made no changes to these at all. Um, I do know that sometimes if you activate, if like multiple people activate the sound effect at the same time then um, they don't all sound, which is really annoying. But um, yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Hey, there you see, it's working. Yeah, it must have been just too close. I think there's like a cooling off period um, between clips, basically. Slightly, uh, slightly annoying, but I 
can't do anything about that, sadly. At least it is actually working still, though. That is good. That is very good. Alright. Bailing is done, at least for now. Take this back, park it up. And then we will go and get the trailer. Get that, that, no. You can definitely make that turn, just got to turn at the right moment, otherwise, you know, see, see, it fits. Just got to turn at the right moment, otherwise it doesn't fit. You know what I mean? This map is going to be a... Uh, uh, I said it was going to be a really good test of my reversing skills. Or, in this case, lack thereof. Them. Going too badly at the moment. Gone, it's gone terribly wrong. Right, there we go. Let's go and get a trailer. Which is up in this direction. But yes, what I was what I was saying, guys, is that that massive mill um, is, I believe, not only the flour mill, but it's also the dairy um, and the the oil refinery, uh, and I believe some other stuff as well. Not how you utilise roundabouts, by the way, guys. That is that is that is not how you do a roundabout. Just putting it out there. Don't ever do that. <laughs> we'll get honked at. Here's our trailer, though. Swapped it out. It started as with a standard flatbed, and I just uh, upgraded it, shall we say? Well, dude, too fast for a country lane. Come on. Okay, I'll do this roundabout this time. I'll do it proper. Alright. This is how roundabouts are supposed to work. Alright. So, in the UK, give way to the right. But obviously, in France, the traffic's coming from a different direction. You give way to the left. There's nothing coming. That is how you negotiate a roundabout. What's that guy stopped for? Oh. Couldn't see, nearly crashed. These bales are the 125, so. We'll get the ones at the top of the field first. Oh! That's one of our bales! Oh, wow, that really did. Uh, just head off. Uh, 
that's the one that was uh, that we nudged here and it started rolling into the field. Liters of pop for these things, that's not bad at all. Nice total amount of bales already. Uh, right. Sorry dudes, I'm, uh, I'm borrowing your field. Shortcut. I'm gonna head over here and grab this field. I'm glad there's no crop destruction when you're driving through other farmers' fields. Again, that's something you could add to, like, fines, you know, damage to other farmers' fields and crops. Thirteen bales and a full grain tank. Ooh. Get out there. Go and get that delicious mustard. Of course, the pipe's on the wrong side, isn't it? Back to the farm. It's in the storage for the time being, at least. I will definitely have to get some cows on this field, on this map, I think, because uh, it's been a while since we've done animals. I do like doing animals. I go back to work. It's too small not to be working full time. Used to sitting in this position. He's going funny. I'm getting old. That's what that is. I'm just getting old. Everything's just stopping working. Should. Bad, that's 21 bales. That's pretty decent, actually. Pretty decent. Okay, so we should be able to pop them in here. Oh, yes, there they go.
Bales are now in here. Marvellous. Show up and you can walk it. You can walk up to them. Unlike the uh, the giants one where you can't. Nice. I couldn't have stacked them better if I had tried. Alright. So, let's have a look at our fields situation then. As we now have this field sorted, so let's sell that one. Now this field is done, so let's sell that one. And we'll sell this little one as well. Boom, there we go. Now we're a little bit a little bit nicer arranged. Now, are there any fields around here that could be good for buying? What's this one? 86. Oh, wow, that is a huge grass field. Okay, we don't need that. Uh, 34? Not even 30,000. Could get that one. That gives us spelt as well. Let's buy that one. That's a good one to go for. And we'll purchase the soil info. And we'll buy one of these two here. Oh yeah, okay. 600 and 600, yeah. They're just grass fields, so we'll take those as well. All right. Now we're a little bit more organized. Oh, oh, we have a cow barn. We have a cow barn. That's excellent. Do we have any cows? Probably not. No, we do not. We should get some cows. Where's the the chickens. Yes, it is the chickens. Okay. Sell the rooster. Boom. Uh, and let's buy another 15 chickens. Uh, is it actually worth it because they'll they'll breed pretty much immediately and just double in number next in within the next couple of months, so We'll just leave the chickens. They'll do with them. They'll deal with themselves. They will need food. This is their trigger. There. Oh, they have full food already. Cool. Fantastic. All right. But cows. Yes, we need cows. We need some milky cows. Some brown Swiss, maybe. Started with 20, that's not bad. Yeah. Start with 20, that doubles. Once they get to breeding age, gives us 40 cows. Yeah. Get some cows. Perfect. Now we can see here. Not going to get TMR, that's for sure. They'll be lucky if they get grass at this point, but. Just open. 
Ah, we drive in here. Drive in here. Aha, we have cows in the field. What a lovely little pasture this is. Absolutely magnificent. Um, I'm not seeing anywhere to put food though, so guessing. It's obviously where I get the milk. Literally just here. Must be. Must be just there. That's convenient. What's that you're saying there, Walker? On your South American map, something is branded. Oh, so do they actually have, like, South American branded vehicles on that map? It's like part of the map. That's kind of cool. Well. Ah, the jack toe. Jack toe. Recognize that. Question is, do I need a bale shredder? Let's... Can I just feed them straight into? Yeah, I think I need a bale shredder. Would make sense if I uh, need a bale shredder. Let's uh, sell that. Right. There for now. Okay. Need tether. And probably a forage wagon rather than a baler. So that I can don't have to deal with bailing them all the time. Okay, so I currently have. Oh, I have a. Oh, I've got a windrower, but I don't have a tedder. And I've only got a small mower. Right, let's see if I can at least get a front mower. Now, how big are these feet? Still growing. Oh dear, are they both growing? Ah, they're both growing, they're not ready yet. Okay, well, the cows will have to deal without for now. Hmm. How slightly annoying that is. Yeah. 
but that does mean that I'll be able to start, once I've got the cows up and running, that means I'll have to be able to start making butter and cheese, which is rather nice. Very good. Can't do anything about the flour, though. That's... That is going to be a problem, because I do believe, like I was saying, the only place to get flour on the map is Cow mushrooms, bacon, garden lettuce. Yeah, I know that you can get it here. The problem with this place is that uh, it costs 800,000. You are getting a rather large amount of real estate, but let's be real. You, you, you're, you're getting quite a big building here for 800k, but it's still 800k. Um, <laughs> that's that's a lot more, a lot more than I have um, money for at the moment. Oh, wow! <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's rather a lot for, a, for, for one vehicle, Walker. That's, that's rather a lot. Oh, you're getting confused. It's getting confused, guys. We'll take over. There's not much left to do now, thankfully. Just these corners. fields planted as planted with something as well. Some sort of winter crop. Um, not sure what we can plant in August other than just wheat. actually plant mustard again and we can plant canola and then next month we can plant some barley. Huh, okay. I, mean, I don't really want to just do more mustard but it might not be a bad idea for the time being. So we can at least feed that straight into our production. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should get the worker on that. Post haste. I have to cultivate all of this first, though. Let's, uh... Yeah, I don't have a direct drill at the moment. Maybe that would be a more worthwhile purchase. Get a direct drill. Then at least I could, don't have to mess around with the cultivating. Bad little, not a bad little machine. That I could actually afford this one, but it wouldn't leave me with very much money. And this would only leave me with that would take half my money basically. Uh, 
but we put down a lot of time. We get a little bit back from selling this. And it does do double the width. And it does fertilizer as well as seed. Speaking of, I know I've got. Pallets of stuff lying around. Did I have a herbicide bag? Two liquid fertilizers. That's not helpful in the slightest because this machine needs seed and stuff. But we're going to buy that. guy back on the worker to do this bit here. Whilst we take this machine round, we'll grab the Seed. That is seed. Okay, so we don't need to buy seed. Hey, Decker, nice to see you. How are you doing? A nice piece of kit, but it is far too small for the farm that we are currently running, even if it isn't particularly large. So. Yeah, let's take this over to the store. We'll sell it, get some money back. What's my harvester doing? Oh, it's lining up. Okay, cool. We'll fill it up with fertilizer. Oh, of course, this has a power harrow on it. Maybe we wouldn't have needed to cultivate then. But... It is easier to have fertilizer going in at the same time. And also, it's more convenient. But I'm assuming this is where we. Yep. So, this guy. Sell that, that's 20,000. I sell that, that's 16. Ah, marvellous. Let's uh, buy a couple of bags of fertiliser. Here we are. up. Yeah. Ah, nice. Decker. Year 4 pass and atom. Yeah. Yeah, supposedly the, uh, the atom's going to be getting some buffs, so if you've noticed it being a bit unstable, is supposedly going to be getting a stability buff in the near future, which is nice to hear. Probably not until Phase 13 comes out, though, to be fair. Yeah, I do actually like the Atom. It is a it is an enjoyable vehicle. Right. A little cut across here. Oh, that's, uh, don't want to run over that. That's precious mustard. Okay. 
yeah, the rocket launch is definitely worth it as well, Decker. Um, seed bags over. That's a very good use for it, actually, dude. That's a very good use. Um, the, uh... There it goes. Uh, the... The service unit that the Atom has is amazing for that. Right, 72% on both of them. Nice. Okay, so now we need to ah, uh, alpha, and that one I believe is the mustard. Any yellow flowers on it? Yeah, that's the mustard. Okay, let's get this thing planting. Um, I should. Uh, this field into one big one. Uh, we'll keep it like this for now. That's a little bit sorted first, I think. Then we can focus on planting. Also going to need something to take care of the weeds at some point. Too many things to spend money on at the moment, I tell you guys. I need a mower, I need a tedder, I need a new harvester, I need a um was I just saying that sprayer. Yeah, thankfully I've got a, a lime spreader, but I think it's a lime spreader. Yes, it also does lime. Good. Um, not exactly the one that I want, but it will do for the time being. Mark this up, and then we'll get to the planting. without crashing. Oh, too good to be true. There we are. Right. Our challenge is very welcome, you know, Bart? Certainly. Yeah. It's, uh, it's nice to be starting afresh, having a lot of things that I need, you know? That's, that's always fun. I find farming sim kind of loses some of its charm when you've got nothing, like, when you've got a, a massive empire, you know, and there's nothing left to aim towards. Kind of loses some of the 
the interest. This kind of early stage farming is kind of the interesting bit for me. Getting the farm on its feet. Starting with very little. I mean, this map is actually very generous in what it starts as well. Um, I haven't actually made many changes. I literally... The only changes I made were I swapped out the bale trailer for the green one. Um, and I changed the cultivator for the same cultivator, but from the field uh, creator pack. So that if we wanted to actually create some fields, uh, we could. I'll have to get that corner in a second. That half that trailer far too near to the edge there. It's actually tidying up the verge as we go. That's nice grass overspill here. It's trees, however. These trees might have to go. Let's get a chainsaw. We'll get a McCulloch today, I think. These trees are going to have to go, sadly. They are very much in the way. Oh, okay, that just disappeared. <laughs> that don't work. This tree actually has quite a bit of wood in it, I think. Quite nice. branches are just disappearing, which is actually kind of convenient. How about that? One tree stump. No doubt do some logging at some point. We'll put this to one side for now. do. You like having trees on the farm, but those trees were very much in the way. That's too little of a tree to care about. All right, back to the planting. some more fertilizer at some point. Some more mustard on the go. Oh, 
Righty. <laughs> that decker is the Lumberjack mod. Yes. Um, it is kind of mad, but at the same time, kind of necessary sometimes, especially when you are absolutely terrible with a log handler. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, let's let's just go for the go for the the, the idea that this guy is buff to the max. It's just like he's he's lifting tree trunks at the gym. <laughs> Slightly crazy, I know. I don't like to use unrealistic mods too much, but uh, the, the Lumberjack mod uh, is just handy because it allows me to do things like this. Just, uh, trailer away in a more suitable position. Much better. This corner. Perfect. Da da ba 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 da 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 da. How are we doing time-wise? Ooh, <laughs> retired Superman. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's uh, that's my farmer. It's uh, it's Superman. Yeah, we're actually getting pretty low on time though now. So I'll probably finish up this planting off-screen and we'll dive into the next month next Wednesday. Um, start earning some money. I mean, some things I can do without. I mean, I can I can live with weeds on my farm for the time being. It's annoying, but I don't have to get rid of them. Really. It is going to reduce my yield, but I could work around it so long as everything is fully fertilized and limed and all that kind of stuff. Um, I do need a tether so that I can actually make hay for the cows. They ain't going to make me any milk if I don't give them any food. So, I think a tether is top of the list. And then, what else is second behind a tether? Sure. We'll have to see. I think uh, everything else that I kind of need for the farm is kind of a something to upgrade as opposed to something that's needed desperately. But, yeah. I also need to buy would like to buy another field, but I think I might have to do with the two of these for the time being, just until we've got a bit more cash. Um, greenhouses though, greenhouses would not be a bad idea. Neither would uh, maybe some passive income generators. Radio tower is always a good one to add in. Always good, um, but yeah, greenhouse is definitely. I do want to try that new fruit mod on this map. How many maps do I have installed? Uh, quite a lot. I actually have more maps installed on my laptop than I do on my main computer because I use my laptop. Um, 
for testing purposes. It runs Farming Sim like an absolute potato, but it still runs it, and it allows me to, you know, explore maps and try things out. Um, so I think I have probably about 15 to 20 maps installed on my laptop. Doesn't sound like a lot, but I regularly, I, I like, I'll install a map. If I don't like it, I uninstall it, you know. Um, I only keep maps that I might want to go back to at some point in the future. Um, yeah, on my computer here, probably somewhere in the region of about 10 maps installed, something like that. Um, yeah, some, probably something like that. Yeah, I'm always looking at maps. I'm I'm always on the hunt for the next one that I want to try. Um, that is a very good question, Groot. Um, size is one thing that turns me off. Um, I was saying earlier that Upper Mississippi River Valley was probably far too big for me. Um, you know that field done, which is nice. Just hold this up for now. I'll do the rest later. Um, size is one thing that I don't like. Um, kind of blandness, you know. If it's just a big flat map with just a load of fields, then I'm generally not very interested in that kind of stuff. Um, map's got to have a little bit of character, you know. A little bit of elevation is nice, but too much is also a turn off. If it's like just with hills, then I'm like, nope, that's not gonna work. Um, but uh, yeah, little little rolling kind of landscape like this map is mwah, beautiful. Um, so yeah, and also you know a good mix of things. You know a good mix of fields like this map, for example, has. Um, everything from small fields here, like 21, to massive fields, like 82. So a good spread of uh, field sizes and all that kind of stuff. That's also um, on, my, on my preferences, shall we say. Um, but yeah, yeah. Starting equipment can also be a... Be a um, <laughs> oh no as soon as you asked that question five ads popped up uh i i i <laughs> i literally just got through answering your question group that is so annoying um but to summarize basically uh size is a factor starting equipment um choice of fields um elevation um, and just general feel um, of the map. Those are all things that I that go into my uh, thought process for which maps that I'm, I'm going to have a look at next. And, and basically it's a good spread of fields, a little bit of um, kind of rolling landscape kind of thing. Um, decent but not overpowered starting equipment is good like this map has like you know some upgradable pieces and some bits that are a bit a bit naff so you know it's a good mix um and all that kind of stuff so yeah um but yeah if you want to heal the full answer that i did just check this video out on youtube when it goes live in a few hours hopefully uh well might be tomorrow might be tomorrow now uh, by the time I get it uploaded. Yeah, speaking of uploading this video, guys, I think that's where we'll leave it for today. Um, it's been a nice little start. I actually really like this map. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, we'll stick around here for a, a little while, and we'll pick this up next Wednesday. So, Sunday, uh, we'll be carrying on with SnowRunner, 
and uh, yeah, we'll see how much more progress we make there. I suspect we might have two more SnowRunner streams before we finish uh, phase 12, uh, in which case um, we'll probably switch over to doing farming sim both days. Or I might find something else to occupy my Sunday slots. We'll see how things go and which way the wind takes me. But thank you all for joining me for this restart on the farming sim. It's been lovely to get back into it. Hope you all enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. So, until then. Nice. Nice indeed. Take care. Stay safe. Catch you next time. Bye for now, guys.